It really is tilted to the side. I am more referred to as an optimist or a wake have time kind of guy. It's my time, Dobie Lance. Thank you all very much. comedian. It's a local guy here. He's opening up for Orlando Jones and he's opening up for Dustin Diamond who will be here uh, 13th and 14th. Uh, shame on his plug. So put your hands together for a very funny comedian, Mr. Kevin Dodd, everybody. Keep it going for your host. I mean, you don't have to. He forgot the first dude's name. How fucking <laughs> Thank y'all very much for coming, because first of all, I do stand-up comedy, but I was excited about tonight's show because the guy who's performing tonight, John Clark, makes some noise for him. <laughs> very first time I ever saw stand-up comedy in Fredericksburg was many years ago watching that guy headline, and I was like, if he can do it, then I really can't, because he's fucking amazing. But, uh... I'm glad we have this turnout because John Clark deserves it and Fredericksburg, we need something to be positive for. Like, you, you know what? I, I'm glad we have this kind of turnout, but at the same time, I'm shocked because this is Fredericksburg. And let me ask y'all, how hard is it to pave a road correctly? How many times do they have to repave Route 1? I mean, it's bullshit. Seriously, because there, there's something kind of scam going on here because... It's Fredericksburg, there's a lot more Mexicans than they're acting like. Some of you are looking around like someone's going to be offended. No, they don't have an ID to get in here. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. They're making your food. Bon appetit. But I mean, another thing about Fredericksburg, though, that kind of makes us, just small things that make us stand out from other cities, like our mall, Fredericksburg Mall, Spotsylvania Town Center. Regular malls and other malls all have Spencer's, okay? Spencer's is a great store. Spencer's sells sex toys, okay? And in Fredericksburg, most malls put Spencer's away from everything. So when you buy your sex toy, you can buy it. Walk out to your Ford Festiva and nobody saw you. But in Fredericksburg, do you know what the closest thing next to Spencer's is? The child's playground! You can't even make that up. Like, Chris Hansen designed this shit. And then as soon as, if you try to go around, there's a Build-A-Bear. And if you try to go the other way, there's a Croc store. The only way to go through this, like, pedophile triangle is through a Redskin store. And at that point, you're like, I'd rather be a pedophile. <laughs> That's not, okay, let me ask. To be fair, are there any Dallas fans? Of course there are. There's a trailer park every five miles. <laughs> Some of you who are extra clapping, you weren't making fun of me. You were like, I own the double wide. <laughs> Which by rule of trailer park makes you king. <laughs> Another thing that's kind of weird about Fredericksburg, and I have to bring this because people don't believe me. In Fredericksburg, if you've ever went to a Valero or a Fast Mart or a 7-Eleven, if you've ever went to pay for your gas, Fredericksburg, at some gas stations, has a newspaper called Crime Times. Okay? And I think it's mislabeled. Because what this is, is it's everyone from Fredericksburg's mugshot the week before. And you know what? I don't think we should call it Crime Times. I think we should call it Stafford's Yearbook. <laughs> but you know what? Y'all should go out and get these. Not just because you're like me and you're nosy, but because I get these to pick up women. Okay? And, and just hear me out. I don't use websites like OK Stupid or Play of Whales. Like, this is how you pick up women. Because first of all, I'm a little bit kinky and talk about a girl that's already comfortable in handcuffs. <laughs> But mainly because when I go to pick up the girl who just got a DUI, she's not going to judge me for driving a Kia Rio. <laughs> and if she does, it drives faster than your bus, bitch. <laughs> but I can't make fun of people on this because, being honest with y'all, I was featured on it. 
just have to tell you all, I was featured, not just featured, front page. And let me tell you how you get that. You get arrested in Fredericksburg at a place called Funland. And I, don't, I didn't, it's not my fault, because I didn't know that you can get a DUI while you're on a go-kart. I didn't know they could tell I was drunk, but they pulled my naked ass right out of the car. <laughs> Anybody here in a relationship right now make some noise? Let me ask you, when, whenever you're in a relationship or you're looking, a lot of times you have, as guys, a place that you'll take women on a first date. It's like your go-to place. It always works out. Go, who take, where's somewhere to take someone on a first date? Hotel. Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we're doing a show in Culpepper tonight. <laughs> No, as a matter of fact, get her a drink. <laughs> because I need to get late. Anyway, what I was getting at before this got weird was the place that I take women for a first date and guys feel free to copy me, this is what I do. I take a girl to go feed ducks. All right, To go feed ducks. Because first of all, it shows your sensitive side. And second of all, it's cheap. But really, the, the mindset behind it is you can learn a lot about a girl by watching her feed ducks. You really can, because some girls, you know, they will only give bread to what they find the cute ducks. All right? Some girls will only give their bread to the ducks that are fighting for it. Some girls give their bread to everybody. <laughs> and if you look like me, and your girl is only feeding the really big black geese, She's not for you. <laughs> My name's Kevin Dodd. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Here we go for Kevin Dodd, everybody. Woo! All right.